This is the next mission after uh, Jeff Bezos went into space. Jeff Bezos is actually putting one billion dollars selling Amazon stock every single year in Blue Origin. I see in this deep technology companies like SpaceX, Blue Origin, as well as Virgin Galactic, exponential growth over the next couple of years. Why this should help space stock? In the end of the day, Blue Origin is the competition. Blue Origin has its mission today and it could help Virgin Galactic shareholders and I will tell you why, okay? So uh, don't miss guys the stream, I will stream the whole thing so make sure to be subscribed and watch later. In just a couple of hours I will start to stream so stay tuned and we will also see how the Virgin Galactic stock react to this launch. But however, let's, uh, let's dive directly into it and discover which kind of mission this is. This is the next mission after uh, Jeff Bezos went into space with his company and with you going to the main website of Blue Origin we are going into the new section and then there is the newest update of the 10th of October okay New Shepard NS18 I assume that this is the mission number mission updates New Shepard NS18 launch now targeted for Wednesday today due to the weather condition so they wanted to launch it uh, another day but you know they change it this is just the news that came out before okay but I want to actually dive into the mission okay so William Shetler and Blue Origins Audrey Powers to fly on the new Shepherds 18th mission there we have it 18th mission okay so guys they are also kind of advanced in their stern. I mean they're not so advanced like SpaceX due to the technology and uh, you know I would say Virgin Galactic and Blue Origin in terms of knowledge and uh, expertise I think they are approximately the same maybe you know one or the other arguably is a little bit better but you know in terms of uh, cost effectiveness a uh, Virgin Galactic is way better okay they didn't put that much money like Jeff Bezos Jeff Bezos is actually putting one billion dollars selling Amazon stock every single year in Blue Origin. Now, uh, let's dive into it. So today, Blue Origin announced actor William Shatner, you know, you might know him from uh, from Star Trek, I think, and Audrey Powers, Blue Origin Vice President of Mission and Flight Operations. Uh, so something very similar that Virgin Galactic did, they sent, you know, Beth Moses up there, and uh, here you have another person of uh, or Blue Origins crew going up into space. They will join crewmates Chris Bohusen and Glenn DeVries for the flight which lift off from launch site one on October 12th. Now it's obviously the next day. Yeah, and uh, uh, William Shatner is actually Captain James T. Kirk from Star Trek, as you might remember. And uh, Audrey Powers uh, joined the Blue Origin in 2013 and is doing the, um, what she's doing? Uh, she is the Blue Origins Vice President of Mission. So I guess something very similar that they did and said, you know, okay, you know, we sent our crew up so they can explain and comprehend the experience that Jeff Bezos had. And actually there's two more guys here. Blue Origin announced next customer's flight. And the, the interesting thing is that they call it customers. So did they pay for it? Because if you're then looking into the people, the one guy is uh, Dr. Chris Bahusim, a former NASA engineer, so I don't know. He's also co-founder of Planet Labs. I haven't heard about it. Do he has really the money to go into space? Do, does he pay for the ticket? We don't know, okay? Maybe it's, you know, a kind of friends of Jeff Bezos or, you know, he has something to do already with the space industry. So we don't know. It's not yet confirmed. And while Blue Origin is a private company, they don't need to explain, okay, if these are real customers or those are just test persons, okay? Could be one of the first investors into Blue Origin. It could be a lot of things, a lot of speculation. We don't like speculation. So the other guy is Glenn DeVries, Vice Chair Life Science and Healthcare of uh, the Sold Systems and co-founder Mediata. Okay, also I haven't heard about that. So he just saying, this is fulfillment of my greatest childhood dream. 
More importantly though, I see the flight as an opportunity to inspire students to pursue careers in STEM and catalyze the next generation of space explorers. After all, our future of life in space is in their very capable hands. So not really mentioning, just some regular statements. So I don't know if they paid for it or not. If you find something, let me know in the comments, but let's dive into why this should help space talk. In the end of the day, Blue Origin is the competition. Or is it not? So why the hell should the flight of Blue Origin help space stock today? Well, it's very easy, okay? First of all, the space industry is very, very small, right? I mean, we have seen SpaceX. We have seen, now, uh, SpaceX, to, to just go a little bit deeper into that, we saw the Inspiration4 mission. We saw the first Dragon mission. We saw so many satellite launches. There's even more launches of SpaceX that everybody, you know, know of, right? I mean, every few days they are shooting up a rocket. It, it became like a normal. But every now and then there is a big, uh, you know, kind of event for this company as well, obviously and this helped in the past Virgin Galactic as well because you know it's very very interconnected same also with Blue Origin okay Blue Origin and SpaceX and Virgin Galactic are currently the most leading space companies out there that's transporting people into the suborbit and orbit okay so this means that if it works over and over and over and over and over and over again, then we might be on to something, right? That means that actually more and more people that are not so convinced yet about the space industry might change their mind, might invest. And this just gives also attention, okay? If you have the best company on earth, but nobody knows about, well then, you know, the chances that the stock goes higher are not so great versus a company that is always in the news or an industry that is always in the news. Look for example for what happened to Tesla. Tesla was from the very beginning a very big statement. We are going electric and everybody laughed, okay? What, what about electric? We want to drive our cars, gasoline, you know, they are not even nice, where do you charge them, and everything changed. And I think this will happen to the space industry as well. Not today, not tomorrow, maybe even not in five years. But at some point, the humanity will accept that it's not only critical, but important and necessary that we fly to other planets. This might sound crazy, and I know this, okay? I'm challenging people, or I challenged the past people about Tesla, and they said, you know, yeah, the crazy guy Elon, and you know, the cars, and do they even work, and you know, a lot of problems, a lot of issues. Obviously, you know, if you, if you change something dramatically, then you are against challenges every single day, okay? This happens, bad news happens, and bad news sells better than, than good news, so obviously the PR and marketing also of the current industry will be against this kind of player. But we overcome that, which happened to 12x the stock, obviously also through achievements by the company, but I see in this deep technology companies like SpaceX, Blue Origin, as well as Virgin Galactic, exponential growth over the next couple of years. There's a good reason that these billionaires are putting their money there because there will be huge demand for transportation, for tourism, whatever the space industry will give us, we will be dying to do that, all right? And it sounds crazy at first, like it always does, okay, with the internet. Even when electricity was invented, it sounds crazy, okay? This is actually an advertising of electricity back in the day. People thought this is the end of humanity. We want to keep on having candles on our door and on the streets. We don't want to have this crazy witch work that is called electricity and who knows how healthy and unhealthy it really is. Well, see where we are. You couldn't watch this vlog without electricity.